good morning. It's too early on a Saturday morning. I'm really tired. My lens is also really dirty. Um, we are on our way to a school fair. I haven't woken up yet. I've got a really sore eye that I woke up with, so I haven't got a lot of makeup on. <coughs> Sat nav's interrupting me, but I've got a coffee to go. I've just had a coffee. I haven't had breakfast. I'm really hungry. And also, don't look at my nails. They're awful. I tried these press-on nails last night, and Jasper's taking the piss out of me. He was like, Did someone send you these for a joke? Like, they're awful. You know when you say don't look at my nails, yeah? People will look. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really you had them on oh my gosh he was like please tell me you're not wearing them tomorrow this is last night and i was like well i don't know how to take them off i should have rechecked this before i put them on but they seem really secure actually which is a good thing if you know you liked the pattern but anyway whatever got myself a croissant for breakfast um we've all set up this school's a lot bigger and like they've got way more store holders and it looks really good actually that dark thing looks really cool i've just broken my favorite sunglasses it's so annoying there we go. This is what you get when you buy cheap stuff. Hi, Jess. Practicing these up. See it? Might be a bit of glare on there. Let's see. Can see? Oh, I can't see my screen. No, not really. There's too much glare. Yeah, probably glare. Oh, you, maybe a lot of glare. closer. I don't know. It was actually pretty good. Look at the state of me, my hair is so frizzy. We're walking through Lidl, it's like a really weird car park that we've parked in, but somebody told us it was free to park here. So now we're gonna go for some lunch. <laughs> it's true. So yeah, now we're gonna go for some lunch to our favorite vegan restaurant in Pinna called Ahimsa. Right? Ahimsa, yeah, something like that. Also, I'm not very happy that I broke my favourite sunglasses earlier and I've got loads of pairs in the car but I actually forgot to bring them out with me. And now it's really sunny. And then can I have um, maybe a jalapeno? Yeah, I like jalapeno. So I've got a Buddha bowl here with chilli tofu, avocado, quinoa, salsa and loads of salad. And Jas basically got the same thing. Um, they have a choice of chilli tofu, jerk, corn, bombay potatoes and falafel. And the chilli tofu is my fave. Not that I've tried all of them. This is so good and so filling. Also got a soy mocha here. Huge, definitely not complaining about that though. Oh my god, so Jas just typed in Nishi just to see what people are searching for or whatever. And we saw Nishi videos, so we got really excited to click on it. <laughs> my mouth's full. What the hell is that? Why it's stop it? Stop it. <laughs> it's not, not so funny. That's <laughs> not funny. <laughs> We're going all out here, we've got dessert. Okay, so this is date and polenta shortbread. It's a bit heavy. What that? It's a bit dainty. You said it gets a bit sickly after this. <laughs> so we got it does. You want to get this one? It's very heavy, like, can we taste the dates? How's yours? Alright. Crumbly. <laughs> You're not even I'm in not. the shot. <laughs> Ta-da! This is the vegan restaurant we've just come from and it is so good. A bit ironic that they have a chicken shop next door. But there we go, it's on Love Lane. Okay, we're home. Let me just turn this music down. I'm listening to Anna and Lily's throwback, no, teenage throwback throwback playlist on Spotify. I recently figured out how to use Spotify, so I'm very excited with that. But anyway, we got home, I'm looking a bit like a lion. Um, and I think we're gonna do some tidying today, much to Jas's disappointment. Yep. <laughs> He's not very happy about this. I don't actually mind tidying, but we bought a new rug finally for the living room last week, and we haven't really had a chance to open it up and see if we actually like it. I've had my eye on it for ages, because I really like the design of it. It doesn't feel like the softest 
rug in the world but i just like the way that it looks so i think we're going to open it all up tidy up first open the rug up and just see how it looks before we decide if we're going to keep it or not so yeah i'm going to do that and then i'll show you the rug because i think it looks really cool it's only from ikea it wasn't the most expensive rug in the world but i think it looks a lot more expensive than it is well at least i hope it does anyway so we'll see about that there's just a lot to do and it's saturday night it's actually 7 30 but it doesn't feel that late because it's so light outside you can't really see i've got boxes of vlog mail in fact you know what let me just show you because i got two parcels earlier and i'll show you what i got so first of all i got a couple of pairs of oh red cherry eyelashes i haven't used these for years and i absolutely loved these back in the day these are called sage and these ones if it will focus these are called wispy these look so nice these are from a website called falseeyelashes.co.uk and actually you can get 10% on your next order using the code lash10 i don't get paid for telling you that but i just thought i'd show you the next parcel i got which i really wasn't expecting actually was this as you guys know i'm obsessed with these sorts of sponges so i'm really looking forward to trying these out because i really really like look good feel better brushes so i'm sure that this will be really good Oh, look at Jas giving me a little tour through his old CD case. What's this? Windows 98. Oh my God, who remembers floppy disks? We're ancient, Jas. This is my career. When my first, my, when my career started off. <laughs> in 1998? I don't know. Kind of, yeah. Kind of, been old if I was in school then. God, I wasn't I was that. First... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, no. Is in fact, it was this. Wait, you would have been it was 18. This. 2003, look. Eight. Yes, I know. I was still like a oh computer my, nerd then. I would have been look, like, a lot Look, my first younger. graduate job was 2003. 2003? <laughs> wow. I started uni not, in not 2003. Engaged. Jeez. Okay, this is really boring stuff. This is cool, look. Utilities. Yes. <laughs> Great. Okay, back to my nails. One thing I have to say is I actually really like having false nails and having long nails. I could never have real long nails, but yeah, it's just this pattern. I'm just so sick of it. And also they're starting to lift a little bit. They're getting caught in my hair. So yeah, just these are, oh, they're horrible. I can't believe I got this so quickly on Amazon Prime. I literally ordered it this morning at 2 a.m. And it just arrived at quarter past eight in the evening and what it is really in a nutshell is a usb 2 to ethernet adapter obviously most laptops nowadays don't have an ethernet cable and you have to rely on uh, wireless but obviously we all know that the wired connections is always faster and this is always complaining that you know with the wi-fi it's not that fast but even though we've got fiber optic it is fast but this will be even better it didn't cost much probably about five pound i think it was and obviously you do need the ethernet cable itself that fits into this bit into the back of the router I'm sure Nishi will leave a link below on the channel and she'll probably let you know if it's made any improvements when she's uploading her videos to YouTube. This is so much better now. There's just loads of paperwork here. That corner is going to be messy for the next two or three weeks, I reckon, because that's all of Jas's stock, but that's fine. And we've piled all of our cushions up onto this sofa because I don't really know why, actually. <laughs> um, we bought this bean bag, which I think I may have shown you in a previous vlog. We're about to put the rug down now, I think. Um, and yeah, and I need to find a home for this. So yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, just to give you a really quick sneaky peek, this is the rug. I don't know why I'm doing this, actually, because you're going to see it in literally like three seconds obviously in vlog time when i put it out but i think it's very kate spade-esque oh wow i look attractive um i was gonna say that oh jess has just turned the light off i've gone from looking like really golden to like really pale can we have it back on please there that's better I look nice and glowy now it's all filters isn't it <laughs> yeah, this is like an Instagram filter. Anyway, like I was saying, the back of this room is a complete mess because I use the dining table as my office, but it's also like where I pile up new blogger mail, stuff I'm in the process of reviewing, stuff I need to photograph, and just bits that I really accumulate throughout life. So that bit's going to have to stay messy, but that's fine because I sort of tidy it up as I go along and I kind of know where everything is. Anyway, now I think we're going to do a stock take first before we put the rug out just because if it's a bit messy and there's like a, I don't know stuff that falls out the bag so I can hoover up and then put the rug out just so that we know how many augmented reality cards Jas has got right yeah you like you're falling off this sofa <laughs> what's what? your t-shirt say on it I don't know it says go away <laughs> that's what it says on it no what is it it says film somebody else I don't know it's just my t-shirt <laughs> it's my pajama t-shirt yeah what does it say 
say? Oh, that's what I like. We work or something? Do what you love. Yeah. Does it? Oh, alright. Okay. See, I'm doing what I love. What does that mean? Annoy people? <laughs> now go away. Scram. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Better not annoy him before we actually put the rug out. <laughs> I'm just sat here waiting for him. It's like hungry. Jas has just informed me that it is 8.40 and Love Island starts no, in 20 minutes. I was minutes. trying to say, we'll have to get it done within 20 minutes. That take, that could you take ages? No, but the rug's so more my... important than the stock takes. We've got a week stock for the stock do. take. She's hooked on it. Um, I don't think I'm hurt. It's like, is it like Big Brother on steroids? <laughs> it is, it is like, well, it's reality TV, but I, but, but I don't you, know, I kind of like it. I can't explain why I like it, and I don't really have anything exciting to share about it other than I love Camilla, as does everybody else in the whole of the UK. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Um, we better go do this rug, and then she makes some nachos for dinner. It's quick, it's light. And I bought Doritos Natural yesterday. No, I'm just saying. And we can have it while we're watching Love Island. Jas is also secretly into it, but he won't admit it. He's so annoying. Aren't he? I'm not secretly into it. She's just. <laughs> if it's on, it's on, isn't it? I mean, like, unless I've got two TVs here, I'll watch my channel. But there's another one on the back, isn't it? But... He's totally into I find it. it. Hilarious. Okay, still not perfect. I'm really out of breath. We're both like sweating. Excuse the music. This is what it looks like so far. And I really like it. I think it goes really well with this. But I think it looks so nice. It's like proper Kate Spade, isn't it, Jess? Yep. Oh, I love it. Look, it matches my um, throw that's also from Ikea. This candle plate that I actually bought as a blog prop ages ago. Funnily enough, that's also from Ikea. <laughs> Do you see a little theme going on here? This Audrey Hepburn canvas I got in TK Maxx about, I think about seven or eight years ago. I loved it at the time. It's a little bit damaged. I was going to give it to charity because we've also splattered some paint on it when we were painting, but actually I kind of like it on the floor. Um, we used to have it on the wall just behind these shelves, but I actually think it looks really nice and a little bit more modern having it on the floor. I love this room now. It's beginning to look so nice. We need to put that back once we've actually sorted this all out, but yeah. Right, so this is what I've just found in my cupboard at home. I bought a packet of Doritos yesterday. I've got this in the freezer, so I'm just going to make some mints with some passata and onion. And I also found this, this fajita seasoning. I'm going to make all of this and then whatever's left over I will just freeze it or maybe use it tomorrow for spaghetti bolognese. Jess has just gone to the petrol station to go and pick up some cheese. I think we have avocados but they've gone off so we're just going to sort of chuck this and some cheese over the nachos, bake it in the oven and then watch Love Island on plus one in an hour. Excuse the sound of my washing machine but I've just remembered as I was chopping this onion but of course I'm going to season all this and I'm also going to put in a whole tin of sweet corn because I absolutely love sweet corn if you watch these weekly vlogs here we go this is the sweet corn um, or any of my vlogs even and you'll know just how obsessed I am with it this literally took me five minutes to whiz up now I've been vlogging loads today I just wanted to show you one thing really quickly this jalapeno sauce if you like kind of like medium food not too spicy like i like chili sauce but i can't really handle spicy food this is so good but like, you have to try it it's actually really nice i'm pretty sure it's bad for you and it has like loads of sugar in it oh whoops yeah the first ingredient is sugar it is quite sweet but it's also quite spicy and it just tastes so good and also one more thing if you see the tesco version of this don't buy it it's so gross it tastes of like mustard more than jalapeno it's horrible okay this probably all looks exactly the same to you but i had to like move it because i feel like these have to line up with these and it's driving me a little bit crazy so there's been a lot of um toing and froing but I'm actually really happy with the way that it looks. Ignore that Tesco bag. But as you can see, it is now 9.56. Um, so we're going to do that later. We're going to have our nachos. Watch Love Island, even though I can pause it. And yeah, ta-da! And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason that I will never actually be a vegan. Cheese. Oh, hurry up! Passion fruit. I've had this one before, it's so nice. And this one smells really nice. Anyway, cheers. Mm, so nice. Oh, 
It's really good. It's my favourite cider. Oh yeah. Love Island was a little bit disappointing. I don't know why. I don't really understand how it actually works, but tonight's episode was like a roundup of the week. And I mean, I only started watching it maybe like three days ago, so I hadn't seen the whole week, but obviously I'd seen the bits that happened towards the end. I don't really know, it's a bit weird. Maybe it was for people that like don't watch it every single day. Um, but yeah, I'm really full, really tired. I haven't even made a dent in my recorder like yet. Also, I took my nails off. I'm so glad that they're off. It kind of feels like freedom. <laughs> How do I explain it? You know, after a night out, you come home and you take your heels off and it is like the best feeling in the world. That's kind of how I feel. I also feel a bit naked. I used this Leighton Denny manicure oil and all I did was, cause it's got a little spray pumpy thing. I just sort of sprayed it all around my cuticles. I think it's just cuticle oil. And then I used this orange stick that I've had for like a million years. It's like a cuticle pusher thing, but it's got like a sharp edge on one side. Can you see it? There. And I just started peeling my nails off at the side. And in fact, they were quite easy to take off. But I do think the nails are quite a good idea if you just want them for like a night or just to wear them temporarily. Obviously, I hated the pattern. Let's not even go there. Do you know what? My glasses are really dirty. I think you can actually see it on camera. It's really annoying. These were the nails that I was sent. The Elegant Touch Express. Straight away I knew that I wouldn't like these because I actually saw another blogger wearing these. And I think she has, oh, the same skin tone as me. And I didn't really like the way they looked. And they're a little bit too shiny. Like, I don't really like nails that are kind of two-tone. I think they also look a little bit pink in different lights. So I knew they weren't for me. And I thought these were like the best of a bad bunch because I quite like blue nails. But then the reason I actually wore these was because I just thought that in case I like stick on nails I don't want to ruin these because it's my first time trying them so I thought I'd put these on and oh dear god they looked hideous on me so I'm so glad that I've removed them but what I did want to say was actually these are so easy to put on they're so easy to remove and they're actually a really good idea especially if you just want them for like an evening out or something to match your dress if you're going somewhere special and you don't want to get your nails done professionally or you haven't got like the money or the time time or whatever so these are a really good idea but I think my problem is that my nail bed I don't know if you'll be able to see my nail beds are actually really long and because obviously this is like a one size fits all you could still see my nails underneath if you were going to keep these on for longer obviously you could cut your nails right down um, and just you know reshape them and stuff like that but I just don't really think they work for me so I don't think I'll bother putting these on I think I'll just paint them myself like I normally would <sighs> I think it's just gone midnight and I'm super tired. I'm gonna go and take whatever's left of my makeup off and and then go to bed. I was gonna start editing this vlog, but I think it's a little bit late. I keep yawning, there's my pajamas next to me. But I hope you all had a really good weekend and you enjoyed this very different style of one day vlog. I thought I'd just mix it up. Sometimes I thought I'd do like a weekly vlog, which isn't always a full week. And then I thought I'd try out a daily vlog today. I think it's probably just as long as one of my regular weekly vlogs though, to be fair. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching this. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I will link it somewhere on the screen here and hit that bell notification if you haven't already. That just means that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.